Hey, how's it going? It's Turbo Dave here with Performance Corner, and today we're going to go over safety wire. So, as you can see, I have all the tools on the spread here. Um, I think I covered everything here. So, we'll start off with the wire. Here's a few different sizes of wire. We have 020, 023, 032, and 051. Very heavy gauge. These are all stainless steel wires. Um, those are the most common used. They have ink and nail and everything else that you can get um, from Marlin Company. I believe that's the name of it. Marlin Company, yeah. They sell all this stuff. Uh, ink and nail is great if you're doing high temperature stuff instead of using, um, you know, like stage eight, if you want to lock the bolts um, on anything like exhaust with high temperatures and stuff like that. Stainless steel, all this is stainless. 304 that covers the majority of it uh, anything you're gonna do um, you know low temperature to no temperature basically intake manifold bolts whatever um, transmission that usually covers it um, back here we have a couple of uh, setups to drill into your hex so we have two of them here um, fairly the same this one's older. Um, I actually broke it at one time, trying to clamp it too tight. And they have two sizes. Um, this is for the bigger if you're doing like a 330 seconds. And then this is if you're doing like a 1 16th. Um, those are the two most common sizes that are used. You just put the, the corner of the bolt here or the nut and then you clamp it down, you drill through. Um, these ones you're going to see mostly in motorcycles. I actually have a couple other ones I didn't bring. Um, this one is for like a round head, like you're going to do an Allen bolt head. You can, the small size here, and here's the bigger size. Um, that way you can drill straight through it. You just kind of set it in there and hold it in place. And then we have, if you're going to drill on the threaded side, this is for the threaded side. This might be hard to see, but... I have a bolt in this one so you can see it threads in then you can drill through the threaded side so if it protrudes through something where literally it looks like this and you have a whole bunch of them you can wire tie them together safety wire them together we also have this is more motorcycle world type stuff that you find it I use it in cars but that's where you find this so the bolt will go through here and then this goes around the hex side clamps on it and you safety wire through there to whatever you're going to safety wire to drill bits this has been the my biggest nemesis um, most uh, safety wires are set up for either 1 16th or 3 30 seconds so this is like a 3 30 seconds I don't have any 1 16th here I don't think oh maybe I do but most everybody does either 1 16th or 3 30 seconds, and that's the difference. You know, there's a 3 30 seconds here and a 1 16th here. Personally, I've found 3 30 seconds to be a little large, um, so I don't like to use those unless it's something much larger headed bolt. And 1 16th um, works fine, it tends to be a little flimsy, and that's where I started using 5 64ths. And regardless of what size you're using, um, I tend to use titaniums um, or high, yeah, high speed. And I've had to get American made ones. Um, I use any brand for most drillings that I don't care where they come from and they usually work fine. These ones have to be like almost machine quality. So you gotta use like an American made one. That's the only ones that have worked for me. The, these ones here they go right through the bolts I literally had a stack a huge stack um, of broken uh, drill bits but these um, I can get like sometimes half a dozen or more and that's half a dozen or more bolts means I've drilled it in three different accesses usually and then here we come to our wire twisters safety wire pliers so this is an extremely long one it's for getting deep 
and two this is more like aerospace type stuff um, this is old these are real this one's really hard to find but this one gets deep inside there as you can see this is the one end and the wire fits through here there's like a little passageway through here on both sides and the wire comes through there and through loops through whatever you're going to and then you pull on it and it comes through here so you can pull it through um you don't use it that much i've only used it a handful of times uh actually specifically on mr2 turbos where i was safety wiring from underneath uh, i think that's been the main one that i've used it on um this is my first set well one of these two these two are the identical um when i first started the safety wiring i was going to the track a lot and so i bought a pair for my toolbox and a pair for my on the go toolbox <clears throat> just so i wouldn't have to take as many tools out of my toolbox and then i found these which were great they they lock this way there you can grab it through here but the other thing about these is they they can go forward or backwards so right or left and then you can lock it in place so it doesn't pull out and those are very large these pliers um all three of these are, this is basically the same thing as this with the modification um so then i got this this has copper inside or brass brass inside um it's really nice i know the parts in these do wear out um, but this has same thing you pull it down locks it in place after you squeeze it um goes right only but this was nice because it's smaller sometimes when you're trying to work on an engine or something and you're trying to get inside there you need something a little smaller and then i found a left this does the same thing as this one here it does right left and um locked in place and i mean you can see it looks identical so it's like this one with these components on it and then this is my almost last pair this was a this is a really good pair you squeeze it slide it down it locks and this one does right and left and locks in place so it's a smaller one and this one also has rubber jaws so when you cut the end of the safety wire off it doesn't go flying away and land somewhere on the floor where you can pop a tire or whatever get somewhere it shouldn't be so this one captures the the cut whatever you cut off the excess at the end so this is really nice and this is my last one i've purchased um this evidently is the aerospace standard now and so if you look at these jaws they're like cross hatched so when you grab the wire it bites into it and it in theory it, it weakens the wire and pretty much all these are like that right they're all cross hatch that's why a lot of the guys who use these they actually like older ones when they're kind of worn out because they don't they don't damage the wire when they grab it this one is actually a wave it's a pretty hefty wave but this one doesn't have any cross hatchings so this is the first one with the rubber it has the ridges so it bites into it but it doesn't damage the wire and then the last one is same way and this has a rubber insert also um this one is actually more the most difficult one to use uh, you have to get these lined up once it gets on it's a certain feel to get to lock into place <laughs> see if you go too far it like it resets and lets you loose Yeah, when you don't use them all the time. Once you start using it, there you go. And then you can go right or left. 
and this is the same so yeah see how it, I put some pressure on it and it unlocked so these are actually very awesome they're just uh, take some use some time to get used to so that is most of it there's um another two jigs that I have for for doing this type of stuff um, it's a little bit larger has an end on it that holds a uh, safety wire um, maybe I'll do a later tape of those but this is the main stuff that you're going to be using um, you actually don't need all this this is this is many many years I mean this is like uh, these two right here were like 1993 or something like that I got these um, 94 and like by the end of the 90s and this was just like three years ago or four years ago this one uh the same one this is like 91 or uh, 93 94 uh so you know it's uh it's been a long time it's not been something that i just purchased right away and so that's what you have for safety wire and i think the hardest part of doing safety wire is if you if you're not buying bolts that are already drilled and set up for safety wire and you have to drill them that's the hardest part so anytime you drill something that's going to be like 8.8 .8 hardness or higher you're going to have some issues if you you know what i mean if you do some type of like um titanium or something it's going to be harder so you need to definitely use really good drill bits for that and that's about all for safety wire the different the reason for different sizes um, just depends on where you're using them and what you're going to do with it so if you're going to use the real heavy one I don't use a whole lot I probably use it to hold stuff more than anything I use it to wrap like a header wrap and stuff like that I'll use that the rest of them uh, this one I use a lot for motorcycles this one I use for light bolts this one's for heavier use bolts or some heat. When you have a, if you're gonna do something that has a lot of heat, you're gonna want to uh, run an Inconel, like on the exhaust. These will work, these will work. Um, Inconel is more expensive, but those are just your options. All right, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, please subscribe to our channel if you like it, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you, bye.